let us take up the topic of accounting ratios today and we will do liquidity ratio in the accounting ratios. Liquidity ratio is also called the quick ratio or the acid test ratio and this ratio is computed to find out the short term financial position of the company. Now, when we say liquidity ratio, we have the term liquid here. So, we have to compute what are the liquid assets in this. Now, you already know what are current assets. Now, this liquid assets, let us try to understand what are liquid assets. They are those assets which are either in the form of cash or in the form of cash equivalents or we say which can be converted into cash within a very short period of time. In the definition of current assets also we say the same thing, but here this converted into cash within a very short period of time which I have written there, this is much less as compared to your current assets. right? So, cash or cash equivalents that is your cash in hand, cash at bank which is already in the form of cash or something which can be converted within a very short period of time that is your liquid assets. right? Now, first let us see what all are included in the liquid assets. The very first thing is cash, then we have bills receivable, bills receivable can be quickly converted into cash marketable securities. So, these are the securities which can be sold in the market and can be converted into cash anytime. Sundry debtors, this excludes the bad and doubtful debts, right. What we do not include in liquid assets, you should remember, stock and prepaid expenses are excluded in liquid assets. So, stock and pre, uh, prepaid expenses are a part of current assets, but when we compute the liquid assets, you are not supposed to take the stock and prepaid expenses, right. Okay. Now, let us see how to calculate the liquid assets. Now, liquid assets, the formula for calculating the liquid assets is this here, this one current assets minus stock minus prepaid expenses, right. And then the formula for calculating the quick ratio or the liquid ratio or the acid test ratio is this. This is liquid assets or quick assets divided by current liabilities. So, it is a relationship between the liquid assets and the current liabilities and it is computed to find out the short term liquidity of the enterprise. Right? The ideal ratio for the liquidity ratio is 1 is to 1. right? So, if the company has a 1 is to 1 quick ratio, then we say that uh, the position of the company uh, as uh, regarding their uh, short term financial position is satisfactory. right? Okay, now, let us take up one small example. Now, here let me put down the question first. Now, here we have the question like this I have equity share capital and the amount is 48,000. machinery and equipment. Here we have 
90,000. Okay, then profit and loss account. This is 12,000. Stock is 24,000. 10 percent debentures is 30,000 and here sundry debtors 18,000 sundry creditors are 46,800 cash at bank is 4560 provision for taxation is 1200 and here this is prepaid expenses and this is 1440 so this is the balance sheet of the company now from this we have to calculate the current ratio and the liquid ratio both the ratios right so here the question is calculate the current ratio which we have already seen and the liquid ratio so we'll be doing both the current ratio and the liquid ratio here right now first of all let's take up the current ratio here the current ratio will be equal to stock plus sundry debtors plus cash at bank plus prepaid expenses right so the amount of stock is 24000 plus sundry debtors 18000 plus cash 4560 plus 1440 was the prepaid expense. So, if you add up this 24,000 plus 18,000 plus 4,560 plus 1,440, it comes to 48,800, right? So, they are your current assets, fine? Now let's compute the current liabilities. Current liabilities will be equal to sundry creditors plus provision for taxation. The other items are all long term, so we won't be taking that, right? Uh, so here this is 46,800 plus provision for taxation is also a current liability, so remember to add that, right? 48,000 is the current liability. So, we have the current assets as 48,000, current liabilities as 40,000. I will just go back to the previous page. Here you have in the liabilities equity, share capital, profit and loss account, 10 percent debentures. These three items will not be taken and here in the assets machinery and equipment is not taken as that is a fixed asset, right? Okay. Now, we have to compute the current ratio, the current ratio is equal to current assets divided by current liabilities. So, we found out the current assets and current liabilities that is 48,000 upon 48,000. So, which comes to 1 is to 1. So, the current ratio this uh, will be equal to 1 is to 1, right, which is actually less than the ideal ratio. So, it is not a satisfactory current ratio. The ideal current ratio should be 2 is to 1, but in this case, the current ratio is 1 is to 1. So, if you are asked to comment on the current ratio, your answer should be that since the current ratio is less than the ideal ratio of 2 is to 1. Uh, the short term financial position of the company is not that sound, right? 
Now let us calculate the liquidity ratio or the quick ratio. Now here first of all you have to calculate the liquid assets. The liquid assets in this case can be computed in two ways. The first one is current assets which I have already calculated minus stock minus prepaid expenses. Stock is not taken as a liquid asset because it takes time to sell the stock and convert it into money uh, cash right ok. So, stock is not uh, taken as a liquid asset right ok. Same way prepaid expenses is something which is an expense which has already been paid and we cannot get that money back right. So, again that is not included in liquid assets right. So, here if I calculate this, this is 48,000 was the current assets minus stock, stock was here you can see stock is given as 24,000 and prepaid expenses is 1440 right. So, minus 24,000 minus 1440 that will be equal to twenty two thousand five hundred and sixty. So, this is your liquid assets. Now, the same can be calculated in another way also. I can also write liquid assets just exclude the stock and the prepaid expenses and say liquid asset is equal to sundry debtors plus cash in hand right. So, that comes to is equal to uh, sundry debtors uh, was eighteen thousand plus cash in hand is 4560. So, this also gives me the same answer 22560. So, liquid assets we have calculated this is coming to 22560. Current liabilities we have already done that is 48000 right ok. Now, to compute the liquid ratio the formula is liquid assets divided by current liabilities. Fine. So, here it will be 22,560 upon upon 48,000. So, if you divide 22,560 upon 48,000 it will be 0 0.47 is to 1 right. So, the liquid ratio is equal to 0 0.47 is to 1. Again this ratio is less than the ideal ratio of 1 is to 1 and the current ratio is also less then the ideal ratio of 2 is to 1. So, in both the cases we see that uh, they are falling below the ideal ratio. So, we can say that the short term financial position of the company is not good and they may not be able to dispose of their liabilities on time. So, this type of a comment you are supposed to give when they ask you for comments right. So, that is a small example on current ratio and liquid ratio. So, with that I uh, will uh, end this topic on uh, liquidity ratios. Bye.